Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is, buddy. Another person who could build my conveyor rails. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, Nisbet, do we get your tidying? Yes, we do. Ren. Yeah, Otto. Otto's pretty set, too, honestly. You could give him suit wearing, though. You've got suit wearing. My first one, I went till I was at like 25. Uh, very early, in fact. Very early. Just because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. I had no idea you were you were just supposed to re reject them eventually, right? Um, and the reason I went up to 20 is because every time I got one, it was just like, hey, I got a new dude. I got a new dude. I like I like having a lot of them. It's it may, it's more fun to me to have a gigantic colony than than to not. So I prefer to go big, because why not, right? Go big or go home, baby. I don't know why I gave your ass pyrotechnics. Oh hell yeah! Give him exosuit training. Love it, love it. Uh, you don't have any other hearts, so I guess I could give you construction. If they do construct that construction is also demolition, right? Or not 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 the skill demolition. What I mean is is that when they demolish stuff, their construction skill improves how well they do that, right? By the way, I have I have a dude named Ren and I have a dude named Stinky. I just want you to throw that out there for any millennials out there, you know, you might know what I'm talking about. I mean, I guess we could make him a digger. We always need more diggers. Like some hard digging mother fluffers, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I can't help myself. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can't. Okay. <clears throat> One of the things I don't like that really does suck is that your temperature gauges, these things, let me see, where is it? Automation. Negative five decor. Even if I make it out of gold, right? It's like, come on now. That's not cool. I need a temperature gauge to turn these things off when it hits 70 fucking degrees. You know what I mean? Gets a little toasty. But it's like, I guess, wait, is it is it like over two tiles? So I could put it up, like up here, right? I guess. Yeah, that might not be such a bad idea. It's a two tile radius, one tile radius, oh, okay. So yeah, stick it in the corner up here. Since it's a since it's it has to be a tall bedroom, I guess I guess that works. Does automation wire one decor radius one tile? So I know it really doesn't matter, but I'm being finicky for a reason, because I want to be. I'm being finicky because I want to be. I don't know what a red signal would be to the door there, but I imagine I don't care. Why can't I make it out of gold? I mean, it gives 20% decor, decor, but all that does is reduce the negative, right? That's all that does. So there's no point in using copper for that. As far as I'm concerned. Use our iron. If it's already open and it gets a red signal, it'll lock the door. Is that right? Oh. Iron. Uh, no, 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 hang on. Automation wire, thermo sensor, iron. Okay, the other. So, that sucks. So, if I run. Use your wire bridge. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, easy, easy fix. Duh. Duh, duh. duh. What was that? 
What? Tango, why? Why you do this to yourself? Because it's fun. Because it's so much fun. Let's go. <laughs> so much fun. I can't help it. I can't. And I'll tell you something else we need to do. We should probably think about throwing this bad boy down. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes. The transit tube. Now, for the purposes of walls, the transit tube is considered. If I were to if I were to say run it up here, it would block gas, right? Is is that is that a is that a is that a that's a that's a, that a truism we're going with there? What am I looking at? All right, I got enough plastic. It'll be fine. Uh. Do, 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 do. So Uh building Oh, I'm out of plastic. Lovely. Um, okay. Yeah, we're out of plastic. Why are we out of plastic, though? We're making massive amounts of it. Mop. So... I guess we need to do that. And then we need to do this. Right. Turn this to eight. Polluted water, there we go. And see, this is why I'm glad you guys are here, because you're, you're definitely helping me keep myself sane, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more of these. So we're gonna have to, I mean, we already have a way out here, but I'm not gonna be able to go down this way. I really should have put these somewhere else. I really should have. But for now, it's fine. For now, it's fine. What are they at, by the way? Negative nine. Negative point nine, point five, point four. Uh, what I really, 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 really want. Is some steel. Are we just, are we just not doing this? I guess, I guess we have to do the thing, right? I don't know what's creating that polluted oxygen. Like, I thought it might be... There's some right there. I'm eventually gonna have to dig this out anyway, so I might as well go ahead and do it. We got melting, polluted bullshit up there, too. The ladder's everywhere, man. Oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Wasn't there supposed to be one down there, too? I think there was. All right, are we still running at like 3,000 on this thing? We are, we're putting even more on it. It's lovely. Why is the pipe blocked? Oh, oh. Oh, that's not good. So, it's about to go offline, right? So we should, Okay, it's in the middle of the day, so I'm going to do a yellow alert. And we're going to dump that there. 
snippy snip. All right, there we go. My dupes now have to eat dinner and use the bathroom while in the arrows. <laughs> they can do that? Like where, like, let me ask you a question. So if somebody's wearing a suit, can you see the condition of the suit? No. Bio. Vomiter. Deep diver's lungs. Oh, this is master. Yeah, that's right. Shove the barbecue straight through the helmet. That's funny as hell. So, wow. Frostbite threshold is negative 1,200. Wow. Plus 10 excavation. Holy crap. But it doesn't say anything about the suit wear. So, all right, boys. Uh, unfortunately, I need to go use the restroom. So I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Uh, do we need coffee? Uh, we're getting close. But uh, I need to, I need, yeah, I need a breather. So we shall return post haste right after these few messages from a break screen. Stay tuned, my dudes, for more. We almost got this thing ready. Like, I, like everything else keeps happening. And I'm just like, ah, it's what happens every single time. But it's what makes this game so much fun, man. So much fun. So much fun. So until then, I shall see you presently. Be right back. Throw sand in his eyes. Oh, he's going down, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, Stanton. Oh, you almost beheaded him. Did you see that? Getting juicy, baby. Give me that. <laughs> For a sec. For a second, it looked like we weren't gonna be able to get it. It might whiff completely. This is gonna be bad. Oh, we got. I think we get all of them. Booyah! Booyah! The magic pixel exists, and Zispy knows just where to put. For a picnic yes. or what? Ah oh, shit! Move on. Move on. <sighs> Safe position taken. Got you in my sights. You like that, huh? kind of scared because uh this is why i saved it's like this is a lot of dudes this is a lot of dudes there's a lot
on it. Most of the time, it's only five crates anyway. Sometimes it's four, and sometimes it's six. So. Not much I can do about that. I'm now going that, my friend. For now. Is a victory. Oh, wait. This is Firebrand. Wait. Firebrand is secure. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Or more to the point. More to the point. A flawless victory. I ain't playing with your ass. I ain't playing with your ass. Nope. Not even a chance. Not a chance. And... Delicious! I love that sweet, sweet taste of rat booty. Yeah. I thought it would kill them. Apparently it did not. Wow, it didn't do shit to the elite. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Yes. 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 Spray them down. Spray them down like the scum they are. She didn't get the, she didn't get the elite, though. Oh, my God. Look at that. Glorious, baby. Hunter. My dude, my bro, my homie. It has been a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much for your service. And uh, we'll see you around, huh? We'll see you around. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. X 4 charges detonated.
Does anybody know if the control enemy breaks stealth or not? No! Whoops. Whoops. Locked on. We've been spotted. Whoops. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Take it, bitch. Take it. Oh, she's stabbing Elena in the gut. Lovely, lovely, and uh, yeah, we're good. Feel the power! Feel the power of the Templars! Summon the lightning, Mr. Wizard! Oh God, here it comes! Here it comes! Okay. The same thing for all. That was cool. That was really cool. Now, if I only had Bladestorm, wouldn't that be awesome? Hi! And one more focus, so he's almost maxed again. That is hilarious. That was really good, dude. I might cl I, dude, clip that, dude. I might use that as my thing. That was insane. Uh, hmm. The Naga Elite can't see me, but neither can the other guys over there. I think I'm going to move Treyconda right here. If I go here, the drones can flank, and that Viper Elite can flank me as well. Uh, we mind controlled a snake. That's why it pulled everything. I'll take it. I'll freaking take it, boys. So we're gonna move you. I will ten. guide you now. Love it. Long watch. Hmm. All righty, boys. We've returned. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, so guess what? We've got enough for a sun lamp. You know what that means? That means we build the sun lamp. By the way, how big is the radius for this thing? Where's my yellow alert? Oh, yeah, that's right. We got this gas pipe stuff going on right here. All right, so the sun lamp is... Oh. F me. How big is this room? Okay, I got tiles to spare. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it just those two? Is that all I need? Is just these two so just these two tiles? Right? It'll hit both those spots. That's a... Oh, no. We gotta dis deconstruct this bad boy. Can this be built? Oh, you can't build it on top of the plants. No! Hey, Tango, what's up? What's up, Flaming Cam? What's going on? Interested in playing Hearts of Iron 4 in the UK? Got through two and a half years, and I think my progress was all right. Well, hell yeah, dude. Glad you're having a good time. 
I'm not gonna lie, man. The wife and I were talking about me playing Stellaris uh, soon, and I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I miss, I miss playing gigantic spacefaring empires. But I, I, I still feel so disillusioned by the game itself. I'm just kind of, yeah. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? Know what I mean? This constantly produces stuff. I could put a sweepy bot back here since there's nothing else over here. Right? We don't need we don't really need the gas mask. We don't really need yeah, we don't really need any of that stuff. So let's disassemble this, disassemble this. I mean we could keep the airlock, I guess. Okay, I did not mean to do that. Uh, put it on five. Bro. Bro. What am I doing? Doing all the wrong things, actually. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I need... Oh, we still got plenty of room. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're, I guess we'll extend both of these rooms that way. We'll play it again when I can soon. Xenonauts 2 is almost finally done. Still early access, like forever. Yeah, yeah. We're probably, I'm probably going to get back into Xenonauts at some point. Um, I would rather do that than play XCOM, to be quite honest. Oh, well, I feel silly. Very silly. I just, I got so burned out on XCOM. I'm, like, I still think about playing it every now and then, but every time I do, I just think about all the other things. Because I really like the classes themselves and how well they play. Many of them, especially in, like, Long War of the Chosen and the, uh, the super ultra modded build that I was doing. Like, it's just, it's so over the top cool. But the frustration of some of the bugs and all the other things, because the problem is, is that I've basically reached the point where I get frustrated easily. Right, and I can only take so much frustration before I'm just like, I'm good. And you know, damn near four thousand hours of that, I think I'm alright. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm doing alright. Uh, how about, how about no, bro? How about, all right, there we go. How about no? How about you? How about you stop? That's just, that was just ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. Can you believe that shit? Missing 50 plastic. Can I just not get this? I mean, I know they gotta like go kind of out of their way to grab it. Uh, we could automate it. I got way too much on this line anyway. But, but, it's a big but. We still haven't beat this. Oh, it's because it's unreachable. Duh. A doi. A doi. You guys uh, doing your thing? You are. Same, yeah. And then Xenonauts really hasn't done that for me. I played the Xenonauts 2 a little bit. And it was it was pretty good. Played Xenonaut 1 as well. A while back. It was great, actually. But it still gives me the XCOM vibes. But it's so different that it's 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 good enough. I know it's on a similar level to me in XCOM 2. Last I played, I've generally never had friends better at it than me. Well thanks, I guess. It's just I, a lot of it is because I waffled for years playing the game. And what I mean by that is is that when I first started streaming specifically, and uh, this is the way I usually play anyway, is every single turn, I look at it and try to figure out what all my options are and choose the like optimal thing to do. So I know it sounds silly that I'm like, oh yeah, of course you're doing that, but it, no, no, I literally like take the time, go through, go through everything, and I would. Like, there were days, man, where I would spend almost an entire stream on a single mission or two 
just because I'm just sitting there looking like because and it's because it's on hard, so I want to win. And I want to win really hard. So. All right, so we've got the gas. Now we. Oh, it's splitting. Okay, so it is splitting there. It's going down there. It's coming up here. Okay. So both of them are going into that. Excellent. Are we going to need... Where is that coming from? There. That's going to get so full, and it's going it's a long way from happening. We don't really need to worry about it right now. That was so funny. They were using it just to hop up here. It's like, nah, bro. That's not how that worked. Long War, it's different. It takes more strategy on the global map. I love Long War. I love Long War more than I... Well, let me just say this. I love XCOM as a base game. I loved XCOM 2 as a base game. It was a great game to play. Long War made that game for me. 100%. Hands down. The game is 100 times better because of Long War, in my opinion. And Long War of the Chosen, you know, it's one of those things where the longer, I love the story of the Chosen, but the thing I don't love is the gameplay. I've never really enjoyed the Chosen's gameplay because they're, it's, it feels so cheap because it it's one individual and they're always overpowered. And if they're not overpowered, you immediately like take them out. Like, cause you can bring specialty tools to do so. And if you're good, you just delete them because that's exactly what you should do. Cause they're such a threat. And honestly, I don't, I never minded that. I just want it. It should be one of those things where there are tools to defeat this enemy. And those tools are semi hard to get. But if you use them properly, you can dominate them. Not easily, but relatively, you know, um, or just moderately, I guess I should say. And it just felt like, it, yeah, it just felt like it never really got to that point because they had so many cheap mechanics. That's what it felt like for me. So, okay, we'll turn this off and then metal refinery. What do we not have? Refined carbon. Let's do that's six. That's five. Let's put this on six. Yeah. Long War or the Unmodded game? What is your question? Are you talking? Oh, you're talking about The Chosen? Oh, dude. No, 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 no. The Chosen. I'm talking about Long War. Absolutely. Yeah. The Chosen in the base game are a joke. They're not even. It's not even a question. Like they were, they're absolutely a joke. Unless you're playing on impossible. And then it's basically one of those stupid RNG things. It's, Cause the thing about it is, is the, is the, the gameplay is the same as far from uh, the, the tactical gameplay is the same as it is on the lower difficulty with the slight variance on the ability for the enemy to get crits and shit. But it's the it's the it's the global map that screws you over because everything is 25% more expensive and everything takes 25% longer i think it's 25% um, it basically means by the time you hit mid mid game you're behind so that's why it make that's what makes it harder and i'm not a big fan of that when it comes to difficulty i just i never have been so maybe i'm just being an ass about it and it just it doesn't matter so that's possible i guess but yeah, for me it was it was yeah. It never it that never felt good to me. Oh man, I loved I loved the stronghold maps. Those were my favorite. I just wish they were better. That's the thing. They felt convoluted is the word I wanna I wanna say because 
everyone is essentially the same every single time even the battle maps they're slightly different on the outlines but like each one should have its own theme the assassin who's like the like you know lincoln park edgelord should definitely have like a batman cave right that is like the batman cave kind of deal right where it's like broody and all that other kind of shit that would be great the 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 psychic dude his lair should look like a, like an eldar shrine or some shit and the assassin should like go full on like ball worshiper from from baldar's gate or from from uh dnd &D, and just like have like murder hobo shit everywhere you know people crucified hanging from stuff and just make it like also high tech you know stuff like that D dissected freaking advent on the walls and shit and have each one have its own theme and the and the base the part before the chosen should also have its own theme and area about what it is and the specific enemies that you have to fight like it should be a gauntlet not just something so that you to make you use up your your abilities and i felt that it was a very missed opportunity from the people that made xcom 2 that they released war of the chosen and it's it basically just makes the game easier and like again unless you're playing it on impossible and mainly due to the reapers because they are just so op when it comes to stealth it's not even funny not even funny and like the very first time i played xcom 2 on stream i played it on commander difficulty and i absolutely dominated it every time i saw the chosen it was like one turn boom you're dead and the reason is in there in the reason I, I do i do it on on that difficulty is because it feels good to have the accomplishment the problem it, it's like it's like this for some reason because of the way the impossible works when you go from commander to impossible it goes from you're dominating people to by the time you hit the mid game the aliens are just f you in the butthole Chosen strongholds and long war of the chosen are absurdly hard. Yes, and I like how hard they are. Not my problem. My problem is, is they're all the same, and it's and 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 it's the same gameplay for each one. And by the time you hit the third one, you're just like, okay, finally we're 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 done with this BS. You know what I mean? Because the chosen are fairly difficult. They are. And I and I like that, but. I really do think that the chosen should not have been actual enemies that you need to fight all the time. And I think they could have been better balanced if that were the case, because if instead like the warlock, for instance, he summons mobs and stuff. I think it would have been a much cooler theme if the, if these were boss enemies, but instead of fighting them on maps, they summon like an elite group, like, uh, like the mocks, the, uh, what is the, what is the, it's, it's, um, there is a mod called Moxie or Mox or something like that, where it's basically a mix of human and advent that they, where the human and advent, uh, have like a, it's a, it's another organization that I think they're like mercenaries or some dumb shit like that. It's some, some other thing, but they're, they're hostile to both. So if they jump in, they'll fight Advent and they'll fight you. Um, and and what I think they should have done is they should have had a group like that that was like each chosen had their elite troops, their death squad, right? You could do something like that, like you know, storm, like uh, how like freaking uh, the death troopers from Star Wars, or how the. Um, how the uh, Nazis had their elite SS, that kind of thing. Where it's like, you know, they're elite troops and then it's the elite troops of the elite troops, right? And when you, when, and instead of them coming on your random game map, they send in their troops. You know, they come up and on the speakers, they appear and they like stand on a building and taunt you and then their dudes beam down or something like that. And then they just like abscond because, you know, it's funny. And maybe, maybe like they'll do a random debuff to one of your dudes or something. You know, like he'll try to, you know, mind spin one of them. The, 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 
the psychic dude will try to mind spin one of them, the warlock. Uh, maybe the freaking hunter will, you know, hunters mark one of them. Uh, you know, just stuff like that. The assassin will throw down a grenade and hit one of them and daze them or some shit. I don't know. But it, it could be it could have been much more cool thematically. So you only ever have to fight the chosen one time, maybe two, right? Or or like three if you if you use their sarcophagus, which I think was a cool mechanic. I actually like it uh, because it made the fight more interesting. But having not having to f making them have more of a build up and have because it would it would mean more variety of gameplay, in my opinion, especially because you could have randomized pods of the elite troops, you know, just like it is in the game when they first appear. It's just a couple of troops that are more advanced than the basic troops. They got more HP, they got better aim. Maybe one of them is an officer and they've got better aim and stats than regular officers. And you just scale it up from there, dude. And you know, it, you know, the death squad mutons, death squad snakey snakes, you know, the whole freaking nine, dude, you could, you could, you could, the, the freaking everything you could even include, um, like fully robot, like the fully roboticized enemies could be the exclusive purview of the chosen, right? The the gigantic robot, yeah, the bio, the the no, no, what are they called? Um, it was in it was in the Long War of the Chosen, um, plus mod that I was running where they had the gigantic mech that took up like four squares, and it had like thirty HP and like six armor. That thing, whatever the hell that thing was, would be. Freaking, that would be so cool if if that kind of thing were part of uh, the chosen's you know repertoire and stuff like that. There could have been so much they did with it, and at the time when it was released, it, it felt kind of cool. But now looking at what the mod modders have done, it just feels like it was slack ass as hell, and it makes X cops look even worse, in my opinion. It just yeah, it's. It's just something about it, man. That just it just rubbed me the wrong way. Rubbed it, rubbed it, rubbed it. All right, we still have polluted oxygen out here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Just a little bit. It's breathable, so there's that. Get that. Um, we should I should do something about the plastic, but I need to get this done. Yeah, we're not. I'm not going to have it done before we're done. Because I keep running into problems and I keep doing other things like like this. What? What? Why is it? Why are they doing this? This is five. All right. So let's make this six. Is there anything I could do for it in the meantime? Because I want to create, I want to put an auto, like an auto bot thing there. 620. Oh, that's 620. Okay, so I can. Yeah, yeah, we absolutely can. We can do an auto bot thing. I'm, I'm a silly mother fluffer. What can I say? So shipping, we will go auto sweeper. Okay, so the machine. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's what it is. It's the machines. All right, so we'll just do it here. Whoops. Whoopsie. And we'll also grab a loader. Bam. Conveyor rail. And I guess we can just put the plastic here. So do I, do I do it like this? Cause I could just do a conveyor receptacle. Right? And yeah, the dupes still have to walk over and do it, but then I don't have to have another loader, right? They can use these, can't they? 
Some ways they had extra doodads for increasing sun faction relation with XCOM, but in some game abilities would have been cool. Yeah, I'm just... Like, I, I lament about it because it's, it could have been so much more. Yeah, you could allow manual. So I can have them pull the, pla the plastic out and put it in there. Yeah, that's that's actually that's actually fine. I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay with that, yeah. And so we'll just cancel the sweep on the plastic. And we will drop this. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that needs to be done right now. Immediately! Invalid building location. Okay, we got all that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Kiln is doing its thing. Lovely, lovely. So yeah, we can allow manual use. So basically, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put it here, so it's in the center of the place, and it's just gonna drop it. Did I fluff something up? Yeah, and it's just just it's just gonna be there, and that's gonna be it. And people are gonna be able to pull out as much plastic as they need, right? Mutant sub, what's that? Uh, I feel like playing Phoenix Point again and going to the mutant sun fact. Oh, the sub faction. Use their useful mutations. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like. I had so much problem with the gameplay in that because of the the maps and other things, and and I love and I loved how almost everybody feels the same exact way about the gameplay from the small maps and how that 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 works and the map variety on the boss stuff. All that stuff was complained about, you know, a ridiculous amount by everybody. And what does the dev do? Oh, he releases like nine DLCs before he addresses any of that. All right, Glitch Sensei, appreciate you, buddy. It just, it just, it, it made me like, I'm just like, bruh, like if you don't care, then, then I'm just not gonna care. Cause they were serious problems I had with the game. Serious problems that I had with the game. And yeah, so I didn't know, I didn't know what else to really do other than just stop playing. Vote with my, vote with my time and my wallet as it were. Late game got frustrating. Yeah, <laughs> happy ADHD. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. It's been a pleasure, my friend. All right, so we've got... Not connected? It's connected. Oh, it's there, okay. XCOM solved a lot of the problems in their XCOM 2. I mean, they kind of did. Don't cross wires. What are you referring to? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, don't cross those wires. Yeah, well, one of these has freaking like, what is it? Yeah, 4270, 47.25 on it. It's not good. So it's got, let's see, space heater, deodorizer, mechanic, mechanized airlocks. It's got that, all of that. No, that stops right there. This is this one, right? Yeah, that's that one. Those airlocks, which I don't use. Deodorizer. Light bulb, nope, nope, nope. Deodorizer, airlocks, which I could probably dis disconnect for at this point. We got almost all of the polluted oxygen out of here. So that's gonna be a help, most definitely. Thank you, appreciate that. You're, you're amazing. Donka Shane, darling, Donka Shane. Appreciate it, buddy. So, yeah, no wonder it was 40. I was like, man, it should be only like 35. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. This thing's on there. I forgot about that. Uh, ba -bum -bum -bum. So, we're going to disconnect 
all of that. Yep. And we're going to install one of these. And we're absolutely going to make it like time meow. It's going to be the last, last yellow alert, though. Like, it's got to be. I got to get some other shit done, right? Four hours. Five hours later. Five hours later. Boom. Uh, another one. Another one. All right, we'll just, we'll put this at nine. So our plastic, plastic ink continues. Alright, and we will allow for manual use. Plastic. <clears throat> Maybe one day. Maybe one day Tango will get it. Did he have to hold his breath? He did. Okay, carbon dioxide there. Yodorizers, man. Going ham, dude. Uh, yeah, there's still polluted oxygen. So we just gotta wait for that to get done. That's all. It's gonna take a minute. We still gotta build so many things. So many things. Okay, we are ready with our chlorine. Um, well, here's the question. Should I... Should I filter it? Does it matter? Huh. Because I'm, I'm pumping it into a room that's going to be filled with chlorine and hydrogen. Does it matter if there's oxygen in it? You can always put like a micro pump in the middle. It's just, man, it's like so many filters, man. I can see now why everybody's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Because they are a, like, they don't feel initially like they're like it's that bad. But once you... Once you, like, have to filter over and over and over, it's a pain in the ass just to set up over and over again. Sort of personal. Do you homeschool your kids? Yes, I do. That's what my cousin does with his kids after I woke my virus hardcore core. Yeah, well, I mean, here in Nashville, they're a little bit, they're a little bit wacky. It's not that bad, um, other than the fact that there's um, some of those books that children shouldn't be reading are appearing in some of the libraries here. But, you know, other than that, it's not, not really a big deal. You know, other than the fact that uh, my school, the school that my daughter was attending wasn't following her IEP, and they were, oh, damn, I don't need more plastic, uh, and weren't, and were using and denying her the sensory room as punishment instead of. So we're going to disassemble all that instead of using it to help her uh, cope. Actually, I'm just going to leave all that there you know, for the ice. Yeah, we can we can like move it down or something or extend it some other way. Uh, I mean, I could uh, we could put a couple of rooms after the hospital. Uh, I'm not sure how many people will be OK with that, but you know, don't think it's that big of a deal, right? We can move the toilets down here. Move these over. No, no, no. They wouldn't be tall enough. Never mind. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I would need to... I'll probably make these bedrooms, actually. Yeah. It's pretty good. And then we'll sweep. And sweep. Okay, so we've also got that and sunlight. Okay, yeah, don't plug into that. This thing requires like 1.2K of power, doesn't it? Nine hundred sixty watts. Okay, so it needs its own. Well, well, well. 
About time, isn't it? So we got 20 on this one. Yep, looks like it's time. And we will disconnect, disconnect. Okay, I didn't need to disconnect there. Skadoosh, there, there we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Building lacks resources. Six. So how many is in here? Critters five. All right, move you here. And move you here. Yep. It's not unreachable, so it should be fine. Okay. Is all my build stuff on nine? Ugh, it is. Okay, that's... <laughs> I really gotta stop doing that. Wire's fine, though. Wire's fine. Is that on nine? It is. All right. Do, 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 do. Other issues is all the gun violence things going on with the kids, and that public school has always been flaming garbage. Um, I see. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna rant here, and the, what I'm gonna rant about is public school. And the thing about it is, because I'm a, I'm a pub, I was a public school enjoyer as a child. And I'm gonna tell you right now, as much as I have a problem with it, as as much as the things that bother me about the way that I was treated and how I was um, let down by the system that could have like made me a much more productive person. Um, it's better than the alternative. That's that's the big thing, and it's not always true. Right? Because some, sometimes, sometimes it's not. In some places, like, you know, probably the, you know, some of those schools in Chicago. I think there's a few in, um, I can't remember where else. But it's with some of the places we spend, like, the most money and they have the worst grades. And it's it might not be worth it there. Because it's very, you know, corrupt and there's all kinds of other stuff. But for the most part, it's absolutely worth it. And the gun violence thing, it's like... I think it's you're more likely to be struck by lightning tri twice than you are to get in a school shooting, blah, blah, blah. And that sucks that it happens. I, I, I freaking hate it. I absolutely do. And this is why I advocate for teachers and personnel that are in... Ooh, we may not have enough to feed them. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. They're all... This one is starving. So... Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's already so... Okay, well, we'll just, we'll just cancel that. So they're really, it's really heating it up, huh? It's negative 22.